Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we are going to talk about how to construct a beehive. So first and foremost, this video is going to be broken down into two. Into two. In the first, we are going to talk about components of a beehive. Then we are going to, to talk about how to construct that particular component. So first, let me just list the components that we are going to talk about. We are going to talk about a hive stand which is found at the bottom of the beehive. We are going to talk about it and how to construct it. Then we are going to talk about a bottom board and how to construct it. Then we are going to talk about a hive body, which is divided into three. We are going to talk about that later. Then we are going to talk about frames and combs. Then we are also going to talk about a queen excluder. Then we are going to talk about the inner cover and the outer cover. So we are going to talk about each of these components. Then we are going to talk about how to construct it. If you follow these steps, then by the end of the video, you should know how to construct a beehive. So first and foremost, we have a hive stand, which elevates the bottom board from the, the floor. It helps to reduce the dampness and extend the life of the bottom board so to construct a hive stand first you need to construct a to 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 cut the following wood wood boards first and foremost you need to make a trapezium where one side is 22 inches and the other side is 25 1 over 6 inches then the height will be 5 13 over 16 inches you can convert this into into centimeters if you prefer to work with the metric scale so you'll need two sides of that then you'll need two sides of a rectangle where one side is 5 13 over 16 inches and the other side is 16 1 over 6 inches so you'll need two boards with that dimension then you'll need another one, a, a large a large board with where one side is 25, 1 over 16, and the other side is 16, 1 over 6. All the dimensions are in inches. Then you will combine it to, to create something like the one you, you see in the video. You'll need to combine them to create a hive stand such as the one that you see in the video. Then next, you are going to talk about constructing a bottom board. First and foremost, a bottom board acts as the floor of the colony. It also acts as the takeoff and landing platform for foraging bees. Should be tilted forward slightly to prevent rain, rainwater from running into, into the hive. So to construct a bottom board, you'll need to obtain to cut wood. First and foremost, you'll form a rectangle where the longest side, the longer side is 22 inches and the shorter one is 2, 3 over 8. You'll need two such boards. Then you'll need another rectangle where the shorter side is 2, 3 over 8 inches and the longer one is 15, 3 over 8. You'll need one of that. Then you will need a larger thin panel where the longer side is 22 inches and the shorter one is 14, 5 over 8. You will need one of that. Then you will need to combine them to form a bottom board such as the one you can see on the, on the video. You need to combine them using nails to form a bottom board such as the one you can see on the video. Then next you need to construct a hive body which can be divided into three. The bottom part is known as a full depth high body. This is where brooding occurs. This is where the queen is found. You need to, the full depth high body has frames and combs that, that are used for brooding, where the eggs will be laid and things like that, where food for feeding young bees will be stored and things like that so to construct a full depth high body you need panels the first panel will be 19 3 over 4 by 9 5 over 8 inches you'll need two of that 
then you will need another panel 14 5 over 8 that's one side then the other side is 9 5 over 8 you'll need two such boards then you'll need to combine them to form a full depth high body such as the one you can see you can see in the in the in the in the video then the full depth high body needs to have frames for brooding we are going to talk about how to make frames a bit later but for now let's talk about a queen excluder this is allows this is a thin panel that allows worker bees to pass through as they move from top to the bottom but it prevents the queen from moving upwards okay to make a queen excluder you'll need small thin small thin pieces of wood where one side is half an inch and the other side is 19 3 over 4 you'll need two such two such wood two such pieces of wood then you'll need another piece of wood where one side is half an inch and the other side is 14 5 over 8 you'll need two such two of such pieces of wood then you will need a special mesh special mesh which you will need to purchase it's a bit complex to make it's easier to purchase so you will need a, a mesh i'm going to include a link that allows you to purchase that mesh in the in the description but you will need a mesh to cover so you combine these three to form a queen excluder such as the one you can see in the video then next we we'll, you have to construct a shallow extracting super this acts as the intermediary bef between the full depth hive body and the shallow extracting extracting super so you can construct it as follows you need a piece of wood where one side is 19 3 over 4 and the other side is 5 3 over 4 so you will need two such pieces of wood then you you will need another piece of wood where one side is 14 5 over 8 the other side is 5 3 over 4 you'll need two such pieces of wood then you'll need to combine them to make a shallow ext extracting super such as the one you can see in the video then next you need to to make a section comb super this is where honey is stored so to construct it you will need pieces of wood one which measures 19 3 over 4 inches by 4 5 over 8 inches you'll need two such pieces of wood then you'll need another piece of wood where one side is 14 5 over 8 and the other side is 4 5 over 8 you'll need two such pieces of wood then you need to combine them using you need to combine them to make a section comb super such as the one you can see in the video then the section comb super also need to have frames and combs we are going to talk about that later but for now let's look about at, at the inner cover you need an inner cover which prevents bees from gluing the outer cover with wax and proper propolis it also helps to to insulate the beehive so construct it as follows you will need a large wood panel that measures 6 1 over 8 by 19 3 over 4 inches. Then you will need other pieces of wood that measures half an inch by 19 3 over 4. You will need two such pieces of wood. Then you will need another one that measures half an inch by 16 1 over 8. You will need two such pieces of wood. Then you are going to combine them to form an inner cover such as the one you can see in the video so that's an inner cover you'll notice that there is if you construct it properly there is a section that allows air to be exist between the inner cover and the outer cover so next you are going to make the outer cover to protect the hive from weather so to make the outer cover you need a wood panel that measures 12 21 3 over 4 by 16 5 over 8 so you need one of that then you'll need uh, another piece of wood that measures 21 3 over 4 by 2 inches you'll need two of that then you'll need another piece of wood that measures 16 5 over 8 by 2 inches you'll need two of that then you have to combine the two to make an outer cover that looks 
that looks like the one you can see in the video so once you are done making each individual component you need to combine them to make your hive okay then the outside of the hive you will need to paint it white with white color then you don't need to paint inside since the bees will use propolis to prevent the inside of the wood from rotting that's all about that's all about how to construct a beehive see you in the next video